Hi, this is Neil Shah, a VP Research and Co-Founder at CounterPoint Research. And welcome to CounterPoint Conversations. So I have a very special guest with me, Navin Tiwari, CEO and Co-Founder of Inmobi and Glance. So we are here in Mumbai at a very special event where Glance is foraying into AI with Glance AI. And we'll discuss more about this and what is Glance AI for and how does it disrupt the market? How Glance disrupted before with the lock screen on smartphones and is prevalent across most of the smartphones in the industry. So, Naveen, welcome back. Thank and you, Neil, for inviting me. I'm very yes. excited to be here. Yes, very good. I want to understand about, we are in, in this very exciting era of AI and everywhere we go, any events we have been for the last one year, it's, everything is about AI. And like how we were discussing about cloud 10, 15 years ago, right? So this is a new technology, new disruption, which is happening yeah. and changing the dynamics of the industry. So can you walk me through why Glance AI and what you're trying to do and how you're going to ride this technology curve right now? You know, every, uh, every few years, there is a new technology that comes in that fundamentally changes the technology landscape, right? So internet came in about 30 years ago, it changed the landscape to a certain extent. Cloud came in, it changed the landscape. And so therefore, of all of these, artificial intelligence seems to be the biggest technology wave that is actually coming in. What we are doing is we are, we are launching Glance AI, which is an AI commerce platform. We fundamentally believe that the, 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 the commerce is moving from search-based classical e-commerce to, you know, eight, 10 years to, uh, of social commerce to AI commerce. Mm. Or a more simplified way to say is that e-commerce is moving to AI commerce, right. right? Now in that world, Glance AI is the first such technology that's come out that, in my view, fundamentally changes the way the world would shop. To me, it is a chat GPT moment for commerce. I think how the world shops before Glance AI and how they would shop after Glance AI would just change. Uh, so we are very excited about this. We launched this in about 140 countries in the last, uh, uh, last week. A massive launch. We are very excited to have built this from India. Um, every element of the, of the core you know, models and foundation models that we created were built in India. Uh, so very kicked about this. I think it's a global platform. We have seen how the users are interacting with it because we have about a million beta users on the platform already. And it is amazing. It's amazing what they're doing. Fantastic. Yeah, I got an opportunity to try out the Glance AI and uh, it is really fantastic in terms of the level of personalization as well as how seam seamless it is in terms of bringing the right amount of personalization with respect to the context and the body structure and all the inputs in the brands I like, right? So it was pr pretty uh, slick, I would say, uh, to try out that. So I assume this is more of a double-sided business model where you have users on one end and you have brands on the other end. Yeah. How do you try to engage also the brands with, with the users? Yeah, so let me just explain Glance AI a little bit. Look, there are three fundamental things we do in Glance AI. First, we trained a model for, the, you know, a foundation model for commerce. We built one mm -hmm. over the last 20 years of data. This is the brain of commerce, okay? The second thing we built is uh, a generative AI spatial model or experience model. The generative AI model is where, where we put a consumer, generate a consumer uh -huh. and the products in a spatial setting. Right, that's the second model, which is the visual experience that you now see. Mm -hmm. So, foundation model gives you, you know, what you should see. The experience model tells you how you should, you know, what is the experience. And the third model is a transaction model. Each one of us have a different buying journey, Correct. right? Your brand preference could be different from mine. Your pr your pricing ranges would be different from mine. Uh, how you like to buy? What kind of a you know, all of those are, are, are different. So therefore, there's a model that's getting trained on that in itself. Mm -hmm. Now, this is completely built for consumers, okay? We are giving the intelligence in the hands of the consumer. The visual experience is, you know, is in the hands of the consumer. The consumer trains the model. Mm -hmm. The model improves with time. Okay. And what we are telling the brands is to essentially participate in this. Because if a consumer 
the intelligence of the model and the experience is liked by the consumer. The consumer will go into that specific brand and buy the product. The brand just needs to be uh, connected to our platform. We will send the traffic. Okay. So while it is a two-sided platform because you do need the supply, you do need the, uh, the products, the crux of what you do is to essentially bring a very significant level of intelligence mm. in the whole uh, commerce journey in the world. The first model that we have released is only based on fashion. Yeah. And that's why you see a lot of those things uh, that you right. saw in the experience. We are also going to release a model on uh, beauty, on accessories, uh, on travel, uh, auto, oh. home. Uh, you know what? We are also going to release a model for pets because pet commerce yeah. is a is a huge. huge category in the world. You know, it's a, it's just a different way to think about uh, you know how commerce should be done in the world. Right. And in my view, it enables the brands and high quality products of the brands to get discovery because of intelligence. Mm. You know, the the current marketplaces function differently on different economic parameters. This is based on what is good for the consumer uh, basis and intelligence layer. Correct. And therefore, discovery of high quality, good quality brands would actually uh, increase. So therefore, in my view, in the world of AI commerce and certainly with Glance AI, the supply chains in the world would actually become very high quality. Right. Makes sense. And talking about discovery, uh, we have seen your journey for, for Glance. Yeah. Right. In 2017, when you were with the first or two manufacturers, right, from a few tens of millions of users to now half a billion uh, yeah. devices sold with Glance, right? Yeah. It's, it's a journey we have been tracking very closely. And your partnerships, not only with uh, the advertising marketers, but also brands, right, on the device. So talking about discovery, uh, having a standalone app is, and user acquisition can be difficult, uh -huh. obviously. Obviously, your product is really good, and it could be, Quite, it can go quite viral, right? Yes. Uh, with users and influencers. <clears throat> However, you have those strong partnerships on Android with different OEMs. Do you see a way where you can integrate within the glance screen, a lock screen, this model and experience as well and personalize it even further? Yeah. Yeah, so you, you're bang on, uh, Neil, you're bang on. We fundamentally have built Glance AI with an open architecture. Okay. Open architecture is effectively allowing this technology to integrate into different partners in the ecosystem. So the, one of the, uh, we, we integrate into three kinds of partners today already. Mm -hmm. First one is phone manufacturers. We changed the lock screen of the phone into an AI generated lock screen. Wow. Uh, the AI generated lock screen basically gives you inspiration, you know, uh, shows you aspirational things throughout the day mm. and you're interacting with it and you're seeing your looks, you're seeing different things, you're seeing yourself in different places and all of those things. And it converts the phone into, an, into a generative AI phone with commerce, uh, AI commerce linked at the back end. And that's, a, that's an integration we're doing. Similarly, with using our open architecture framework, we're integrating the Glance AI mm -hmm. into televisions. We fundamentally believe that TVs, they should be a generative AI TVs, generative AI TVs, will generate the content mm -hmm. uh, and generate commerce in addition to you know, showing you the, the content. But TV screens are something which basically remains shut for 95% of the time. Right. So for, the, for that period of time, let it generate and show you content. Correct. And therefore, again, now you get inspired on the ambient screen of the, of the, of the TV. You see different uh, visuals. You get inspired. You interact with it. And we like to believe that we we'll, we want to convert the TV into a, a household mm -hmm. uh, AI commerce platform Got it. with all sorts of things. You know, today, of course, it's it's leading with fashion, but tomorrow it'll do everything else. Grocery as well. <laughs> everything, right? Yeah. Uh, the third open, AI, open architecture integration that we do is with the brand stores. Mm. Today, you go into a brand store, you know, you go to a store, you see a lot of products that should transform to a store that is just built for you using Glance AI technology. Right. So tomorrow when you go to a store, let's say Lululemon, if that's one of your favorite uh, athleisure brand, you can go in there and the whole Lululemon website will actually transform itself on you. Right. The products will appear, you become the model. Right. The website of Lululemon is just built for you. Right. And those are three integrations we are doing. 
at the core of it uh, neil we truly care about our model getting trained better right in all of these interactions the model trains the model compounds these are self learning models right that's our biggest moat we have trained the model but we want continuous training of the model and this is what we really want to do how do you see about the infrastructure behind it because this will require a massive infrastructure yeah because you are launching in 140 countries yes hundreds of millions of users will be using generating billions of <laughs> images yes right so how scalable it is and how how have you planned about the capex or opex about it yeah look that's a very important aspect of our platform so we have done a very deep strategic partnership with google mm-hmm. the google partnership is about having access to latest technology having access to the cloud compute at at a price point and optimized at a price point that allows us to scale to 140 countries i'll give you a very interesting stat you know 9 months ago when we were building this of course we had not released it then every generation that you see today was costing us 10 cents wow. today in we generate 10 images in 1 cent really wow. we have done a 100x scaling in the last 9 months of okay. the technology that is the power of a deep partnership that we have done with google yeah it's fantastic you're getting into multiple uh, models and even multiple devices multiple screens yes. right so today i'm using a model which is trained on my personal habits on yes. my device yes then if i go and watch it on tv it will oh yes it'll, it's it's, it's all yeah, yeah absolutely it's it's the same model the same model will basically these are all different places at which it will get integrated right it's fantastic yeah. it's very powerful uh and i'm looking forward to how you scale it yes and uh into multiple verticals multiple applications use cases i think it's a very new form of interactivity is the same way which you have you disrupted the lock screen market yep. it was so passive and you changed the paradigm of interactivity on phones yeah i think this is the next wave i believe we are very excited about it let's see where this goes but we are so excited because you know building such a technology from india has its own charm right uh and we think this is a global appeal and yeah we feel very kicked about what we have done so thank you for uh, for for this conversation really enjoyed this i really enjoyed it thank you very much thank you man.